With so many people still out of work, the holidays are going to be tough. That's why each year we ask that you give to Toys for Tots. Today, 13 on your side's Elena Holland introduces us to some of the program's volunteers who like to keep it all in the family. Families typically have big traditions around the holidays. This is what we do and we schedule our lives around it. Often involving a jolly man bringing toys for kids. They call me Santa Claus. But in the de Young family, they're bringing these toys to other children. Every year, all four of them volunteer many hours of their time with Toys for Tots. I can remember being like eight months pregnant and distributing toys in December. It's just what we did. Jeff DeYoung has been working with Toys for Tots for 23 years. For the past three, he has been the coordinator for Kent County. Then his wife Dawn started volunteering too. Without Toys for Tots, Christmas just wouldn't feel the same. And now their two kids, Amber and Mason, do as well. We've yeah. done it our whole lives from our first Birth. Christmas. Over the years, they've helped with gathering the toys, sorting, and distribution. Plus, Mason's favorite part, the shopping. I'm a really great help because I'm in that age that's like all the trendy stuff. <laughs> I'll have people come up to me on the toy buys that are like way older than me and they're like, hey, do you like this? It's become something fun that the kids look forward to every year, but they're also learning the value in helping others. Most people don't really know like what goes on outside of like their community. It's like some kids like they the most gift they could get for Christmas is a new pair of socks and it's very humbling just to know like that you can help them. And this year, after the many challenges 2020 has brought so many families, a helping spirit like theirs is something greatly needed. The last time I, I checked, our numbers were about 20% up from last year, and we serviced 13,000 children in, West, in just Kent County alone. And because people are not out and about as much as they were seeing the Toys for Tots boxes around town, they hope people don't forget to buy toys or donate this year. We've seen it with our friends. You've seen it with your family, maybe. Not everyone has a job and has the finances to make Christmas magical. Thinking in the back of your head, you're having someone else's Christmas, you're making that one 10 times better. In Grand Rapids, Elena Holland, 13 on your side.